Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article has to do with uh, a Confederate statue being bulldozed by a um, new mayor, I guess, of a, uh, of a town. And uh, he uh, live streamed it and uh, he made a video and celebrating the uh, I don't know, demolition of some vestiges of some people's culture, good or bad. Culture that he doesn't own, but he has the power and he can do what his heart tells him to do. This could be a little lesson for my fellow Americans, uh, a lesson from the future. That would be uh, a good title. Now here uh, this article comes from the the News and Observer and uh, it's from August 22nd. This is the title. Confederate statue is bulldozed as mayor live streams it video shows and quote-unquote not in my town. So that's the mayor's town. Well, good for him. Congratulations. You took over. A North Carolina town watched live online as a bulldozer pushed down its Confederate monument, built by some people with a certain culture that other people don't like. And those people got to get the power and they will erase the other culture's vestiges. All right. Mondale Robinson, the mayor of, of Enfield, North Carolina, took to Facebook to share a live stream of a Confederate monument in the town. town's Randolph Park was demolished by a bulldozer on Sunday, August 21st. And I'm quoting, Yes, sirs, death to the Confederacy around here, Robinson said in the video as a bulldozer knocked the monument over. Not in my town, not on my watch." End quote. Okay, well that's someone's culture that you disagree with. So that means that if that culture, wherever it has power, should the same thing with your culture that they might disagree, unless you think your culture is perfect. Obviously that's what you think. And it's just a, and this is the, the mayor. He looks like a mayor. It looks just like a mayor, right there. All right, so now you have a uh, put a face on a name and an action. Your future leaders. And uh, here is the bulldozed. You can you can find a video and you can see that I don't know it's the bulldozed. It's a bulldozer behind and a monument. And there are two workers over there, and both of them are African American. All right, so. Enfield, North Carolina, is a town of about 2,300 people situated about 70 miles nor northeast of Rely. Or Raleigh, I think that's how you pronounce it. The town's board of commissioners voted 4 to 1 to remove the statue in a democratic way at an August 15 meeting, according to the Daily Herald. And I'm quoting, we voted for it to be gone. Why was even that an issue to be removed? Why was it even an issue to be put to vote? Because with a vote, you can next you can say let's vote and uh, remove from the town a certain kind of group, democratically voted, and they will be removed. How about we removed all the dead groups, let's say tombstones, gravestones, and if they vote four to one. It's a democratic way. And who will stop them? It's illegal. Anyway, it's just a dead statue to a dead idea, the Confederacy. What once was can now be more space for people to do yoga, workout, or anything else except for come here and worship the Confederate flag or the Confederacy. That's the that's the argumentation. Shallow like below 86 what do you expect 
the veterans memorial veterans memorial some people died for a cause a bad cause considered with some but what can you do was dedicated in 1928 according to university of north carolina chapel hill data database the 10 foot tall marble statue bears a confederate flag carved into the marble of its center column and was initially built as a memorial to confederate and world war one soldiers they put them together doesn't matter get out out of my town right over the years various inscriptions have been added to the statue including dedications to memory of veterans who fought in the world war ii uh you know the korean war the vietnam war and the persian gulf war the database says despite its various inscriptions the monument's initial purpose was to honor confederate soldiers so you have something a monument and you have one thing and you have 10 others and you're gonna destroy that for that one thing out of others so judging by that reasoning by that you can extrapolate and find anybody guilty of anything and what are you gonna do you're gonna execute people because they did one bad thing but they did 1000 good things of course it matters what that that bad thing is but versus the 1000 but i'm just saying and on the other hand maybe it's not for you to decide about that why would it be for you to decide what other people decided and why why it's just like let's say now are we gonna bulldoze the let's say the any uh, statue of let's say martin luther king yeah you know, because she was you know and screwed around his uh, wife right he was a communist sympathizer he participated in communist meetings i mean we got a lot of stuff here he had sex orgies he was taped by fbi so we know certain things he plagiarized the, his uh, doctorate uh, thesis i mean so what are we going to do about it are we going to bulldoze him too <laughs> you see if we're like this at each other's throat then who's stronger will win and then this time a group is still stronger but is disarmed i'm not uh, you know saying that anything would happen but i'm saying when a little minority gets a little power in one little corner immediately attacks the group that is a majority without thinking that if that majority I don't know just gets crazy one day and does the same thing to that minority you know there will be no more anything so if you do this to them unless you think you are perfect and I think they do think they're perfect I, I really do believe no harm nothing and even if you try to make it better the better is not good enough so it is not a monument for all veterans. It was for veterans. It was put here in 1929, 28 Robinson, this mayor below 86 said, none of those wars had been fought when the statue was put up. That statue was built. He, he doesn't have a notion. How can he? He doesn't have a notion of history. He doesn't have that. He can understand. Well, it was built after the war, and, and then and then those wars did, did, wars, did not, wars did not even happen when they added to it. <laughs> well, it's a different kind of culture that you have to feel to understand it, and it seems like Robinson doesn't understand it, but he has the power, and all, that's all what matters. It seems like this statue was built for the Confederate. That's why it was engraved on the front of it. That's not a plaque attached to it about the confer. That's not a plaque attached to it about the Confederacy. The main purpose was to honor the soldiers who fought on the side of slavery. Yeah, I just made a few uh, of actually a video regarding with slavery in Africa. It's still right there. It's the epicenter of the world. What are you gonna do about it, Mr. Mayor? should people from outside come and take care of stuff over there what are you gonna do you're gonna see what is their culture what are, what do you want 
I'm pretty sure this mayor will find the right justification if tomorrow, let's say, NATO goes and bombards a few countries in Af Africa to fix the slavery issue. I think we have a big, 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 big riots here. It could be solved in about 20 minutes if you really are to uphold the law and order. 20 minutes, don't need more than 20 minutes. But it's all political. So I think Robinson will be against NATO intervention in Africa to straighten out the big uh, slave uh, trade over there and modern slave slavery okay why because he really doesn't mean what he says here he's just i think he just had something right here and doesn't have something here or had something here but on the left side let's put it this way so uh this is what happened uh over there in this little town with this mayor and this is just a pick for some of my friends that are not familiar with uh, what's going on in their own country uh, with what's in the future for them if this country goes the way certain people want it to go and some people think uh, they're allies the allies will be hanged last but they will be hanged <laughs> that happened in many 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 uh, uprisings, revolutions, the people who cooperated and supported the so-called revolutions, they were hanged last. But, you know, if they were happy to be last, that's fine. Why not at all? All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.